I'm literally eating birria tacos for weight loss. We got ancho, arbol, and wajillo. Stem comes off. And for all the chilies, I do want to de-seed them. For almost no calories, you're introducing so much flavor with just this trio of chilies. Tiny spray of avocado oil. Just let the onion dance. On all the vegetables and chilies, the size does not matter, just a quick rough chop. When the onions start to argue back, going with a handful of heartburn. Trio of chilies gets introduced to the party. And to add a little depth of flavor, I like some tomato paste. When this starts to punch you in the nose, I got a bay leaf, a cinnamon stick, and some cloves. Going with the tomato. And I just want to cover this all with some water or stock. The best part about this recipe is how meal preppable it is. You can make a large batch of this, and because the chicken is sitting in that beautiful broth, it's not gonna go bad for a couple days, and every time you want to reheat it, it's gonna be fantastic. The slightly cooled mixture goes into a blender that could handle the heat. For this, we're gonna add some thyme, a whole lot of black pepper, oregano, or use fresh marjoram if you have some, a tiny bit of cumin. We finish with some coriander and a very generous amount of salt because we have yet to add any. Time to blend. <laughs> This gets added back into the same pan, and I'm just gonna bring this up to a light little bubble. And you better not waste this. Put a little water and repulse it and add it back. There's some boneless, skinless chicken breast. I'm gonna have it and just slice them into large cubes. Gently drop them into the bubble bath. I'm gonna bring this up to a decent bubble. Shut it up with the lid. Drop the heat to a medium low. And then we let the chicken cook for about an hour or until fork tender and falls apart like your life. In the meantime, I always dice up a white onion and some fresh cilantro. And for the cheese of choice, I'm using some Oaxaca. This goat milk cheese is what they usually use with birria. And before you sit here and cry about macros, just use low fat mozzarella. If you'd like. But for me, this is gonna work. I like to shred the Oaxaca the second it comes out of the fridge, just so it's nice and firm and it's not melting in your hand. Just beautiful shreds like this. I am also using regular corn tortillas, and if you're going lower calorie, use whatever tortilla option that you like. Don't open the bag until you're ready to actually toast them up and use them. Update, the chicken only took about 45 minutes. I'm gonna separate them into a different bowl, and I just want you to see that they shred like butter. Don't be an idiot like me and burn your hands, just use two forks to shred everything apart. I always like to keep the meat hydrated with a little consomme. Let's just say I made an honest mistake and I got gluten-free tortillas, which let's be honest, do not hold up but don't you worry we got options this time a flour tortilla goes in going with the oaxaca cheese the beautiful shredded chicken and just a spoonful of love just fold it on itself and get it nice and crispy i do a little bit of those white onions cilantro gotta be extra wet and as always now bismillah Control the tortilla and the cheese, and you have an award-winning low-calorie taco recipe. And I recommend you to save this and use it again. It's even good on a flip-flop. I'm telling you, this recipe is an absolute banger. 